day two. Wall I beat down. It's just me and my partner again. The seagulls. And the Detroit River. I'm gonna try to show you a little footage today of catching walleyes off live scope. Uh, I'm gonna mount the camera on the garment and we'll see if we can get some footage of some walleyes attacking. Uh, it was pretty cool yesterday. I'll show you my setup, show you how to do it, and show you how to find them. Let's see what happens. Sometimes you get to see one come up and meet it. Here he comes, you see him? Look at him coming over to it. Here comes another one. Come on, boys. Well, both of them spooked off of it. Those are smart walleyes. Here comes some more. See them sitting behind the rocks so there. If you look real close, you can see them on live scope sitting behind the rocks. Here I'm coming through the rocks. Don't let your bait hit bottom too long, you get snagged. There's a big old rock. Be careful of those. They like to eat jigs. You can see I'm landing on top of it right now. There, I just came off the edge of it. See some on it right there. See if they want it. Got him. Oh, I feel like a big one. That one feels like a big one. Look at the ones chasing him on live scope. See if we can fight him again on live scope as he fights. Nope, it's not a big one. This 
is a real big one. I think. We'll find out when we get him up close. I think he ate it pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, okay, he's not a real big one. But he's bigger than a couple I got in there. Ate it. Deep. He said, ooh, I like me some flukes. That was pretty awesome. bit bigger than the other ones. Well, there one come off that rock to look at it. Here comes one swimming on the bottom. Oh, he's going to come get it. Watch this. He did not turn around and swim back yet. Here he comes. Got him. <laughs> That's some pretty cool footage, boys. Let's see if this one's. A, oh, this one's a big one. This one will call. This one will call. You see him on lights, folks, right there. That's a big one. That's a real one. one didn't see him he came in from the side he's still on it now yeah, probably one of his buddies is on it there I got that one you seen that one bite that one was pretty cool that was pretty cool I just that one bite on my scope not a very big one around me. Uh, I caught all my fish this morning on a the same setup I used yesterday, a zoom fluke on a half ounce head. I switched it up just to see if they bite other things. So now I'm using a hair jig with an underspin. And then I got a gulp worm just for some scent and to hold that trailer in place on the back. And we're going to go up front here. We're going to watch some live scope and see if we can catch a few of these fish. I've already caught two. I did not videotape them. But I'm going to see if we can catch a couple more using this little rig right here. Keep that line vertical. I just watched a fish come out of a rock to get it. Went back in the rock so I couldn't see live scope very well. and uh, Or see him in live scope because everything was kind of in that rock. And there we go. There's a, another beautiful... Detroit River walleye, probably a 20 inch. 
picture. Oh, I got him. You've seen that one bite. That was pretty cool. You've seen him jump right all over it. See how big this one is. It looks like this one might fall. Alright, I didn't have a lot of time to explain what I was doing because I was not only catching walleyes, I caught upwards of close to 40 today, I'm guessing. I, I lost track a long time ago. Uh, in order, I'm using down view of live scope, and that helps a ton because I don't have to make the big long drifts everybody's making. I know where there's a bunch of walleyes. I know where they're located because I'm watching them come up to my jig. And you're going to, obviously you've already seen some of that in this video. But in order to keep that jig in down view, you've got to keep that bait vertical and close to the boat. I'd say within 10 feet on either side. And whichever way the trolling motor's facing is the way you can have it forwards or backwards and still catch your jig as long as it's in that 20 degree cone of live scope. So, in order to do that, you have to adjust your drift per the wind and the current on any given particular day. Sometimes you're going to be nosing the current, sometimes the back of the boat's going to be this way, the front's going to be that way. So anyways, you adjust your drift so you can keep your line vertical, keep it in downward view, you can watch the walleyes come up and eat your jig, you can watch how they're reacting to it. Sometimes it'll help you make changes on what kind of jig you're using, if you need to have a worm on, if you need to have a hair jig, if you need to have a, have a, a, a fluke on like I'm using now, I'm using a fluke. Um, but anyway, I can't stress enough again, keep the line vertical, keep it close, you can keep it in down view on live scope, and you can see how many fish are reacting, how they're acting, if they're relating to rocks, if they're just in, the, in an open area, and what they're doing. I can't, live scope helps, it's unbelievable. So, guys, I want to thank you for watching. I've had a blessed day out here on the river all by myself again, due to the current conditions. You want to see more of this? Hit that subscribe key. Sign up for that YouTube account. Why not? It's free. Um, I love to do this. I do it for fun. Um, videos take a long time, and it's hard for me to stop fishing to make a video. So I appreciate all of you watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Who knows where I'll be? Uh, I like to catch anything that swims, as, as you can see. Like I said, hit the subscribe. God bless, guys. Have a great day. And there it is. Another day on the Detroit River, even with a bonus perch. Piece of cake. Jigging up the walleyes in April on the Detroit River.